This is where that mope hides out, and that Chinese lady. I just need to remember the secret knock. Secret knock? What is this, some kind of clubhouse? Let's go. Wait, are you sure we're not walking into a parlous situation here? Parlous? Why the hell do you talk like that? Come on. Detective Bennett, Mr. Abbott. According to Reno here, you're 17 seconds late. Sorry for the shabby digs, but we need to keep a low profile for now. We've got a friend in common, Tolstoy Eddings. And I think we both want to figure out where he is. But, I'm sure you've got questions, yeah? Who are you, and how do you know who we are? I like you, detective. No beating around the bush, just business. Answer my question, or I'll beat you around this room. I think you're in enough trouble already. No need for more violence, right? My name is Amul Batra, and this is my colleague, Reno. We're collectors. Collectors of what? Information. It's our business to know everything. Everything? Everything. So you sent for us. We came. Why? You're here because the universe is a self-correcting machine. And until recently, Ed was a reliable, predictable cog. But now he's gone off the rails. We need replacement parts. Enough with the metaphors. Get to the point. We both want the same thing. Tolstoy Eddings needs to be brought to heel. We'll point you in the right direction. So you were working with Ed? With him? <laughs> no. We had an interest in resonance. He had an interest in resonance. So we took an interest in him. That's all. Did your interests include killing an innocent woman in cold blood? We did not kill anyone. But the entire Aventine police force seems to think that you did. Maybe something can be done about that. What is Ed after? To upset the machine. We believe he plans on setting off another resonance device very soon. I don't understand. He seemed to think resonance should be for the benefit of mankind. Why would he use it to blow things up? He did just kill Anna. He's not the most rational guy around. Unfortunately, even Reno here didn't foresee Ed's betrayal until it was too late. And she sees everything. So what? She's supposed to be some sort of psychic or something? There's no magic to it. The universe is controlled by laws. Everything from the planets orbiting around the sun to the firing of neurons and that little brain of yours. Call it a machine, call it fate. From initial state to end of days, everything's already been decided. And with enough information, anything can be predicted. And that is why we collect information. All of it. Wait, did you say your name is Amu Batra? You're a Batra, the guy who's been emailing you. You are the Eleven Foundation. You know this mope? This guy has been feeding me scoops, like that one on the Vice President. Wanted me to write some articles buttering up his cause in exchange. Cause? Increasing government surveillance powers in the name of anti-terrorism. Seriously? I knew you sounded shady, so I did some checking up on you, a mool. You and your Eleven Foundation are behind that DNA database and a Vorta. No point in denying it, and you took full advantage of it. That may be, but there's no way that thing is legal. It's only illegal until it isn't. What's that supposed to mean? Yamero. Aunt Vorta isn't a pressing matter at the moment. I should place both of you under arrest. On what grounds? I got a surveillance photo of you robbing Torta security. You were caught red-handed. I, uh, bollocks. I thought that camera was off. 
Tortoise knows his stuff, all right. I'll give him that. I know, I know. Still, good luck getting Mr. Tortoise to press charges. He'll never admit his place was robbed. He's right, you know. Shut up. So what did you want with Tortoise's files on the vault? As I mentioned, we are collectors of information. And resonance is what? A trophy for your wall? No, it's much more than that. We want to see it put to good use. But our motive shouldn't matter to you. Ed's going to set off another resonance device very soon. You need to focus on stopping it. Why did she slip me that vault file yesterday? You needed a nudge. We gave it to you. Cut to the chase. How do we stop Ed? Start from the beginning, the initial state, and extrapolate out. Exactly where did this all begin? The explosion at the lab. It should be easy to determine where the resonance devices that killed Morales were placed. But they could be anywhere outside the lab. You can find the distance between two resonance devices by the size of the blast made when the particles snapped back together. I acquired the formula and used the measurements from that hole in Morales' lab. The particles must have been placed four kilometers from the lab on either side. That's it? If you need more than that, you aren't the right men for the job. Reassuring. Let's wrap it up, lads. Don't bother coming back here, we'll be long gone. After you've stopped, Ed, you'll see us again. Oh, and before you go, I have a little present for you. What was that he handed you on the way out? A compass. So we can find north? No, a drafting compass, like you get in high school geometry. What do you think about those guys? I don't trust them. Everyone seems to only be interested in residents. But they do want to stop Ed, and that's at the top of my list of things to do today. Let's just figure out where those residence devices were placed so we can follow his trail. I like the vibe. The style is very student digs with a touch of crack house. This is not an apartment. It's a staging area. Chosen for its proximity to the target, not for its... Allure. He must have been planning this a long time. Here's the resonance device, right as he left it. Um, should you stand so close to that? This is it. The resonance device. Wait. It could be booby-trapped. Don't you ever stop to think before you charge ahead blindly? Boom. Asshole. Blogger.
Hello? Reggie, this is Ray. Is Detective Bennett all right? Yeah, he's here with me. What do you need? Any sign of Ed? No one's looking. I brought up his name at the briefing when you and Bennett were named as suspects. Chief cut me off. She wants everyone focused on finding the two of you. What's going on with the manhunt? The Chief is keeping you at the top of everybody's list. There's going to be a press conference tonight. In a few hours, your faces will be all over the TV and the net. Stay away from crowds, and don't go to the lab or your houses. They're being watched. Fantastic. Reggie, I've got a phone number I need to have traced. You can do that, right? I can't. Chief's got me tasked. But the tracing equipment's at Admin HQ. If I can clear the front desk for a while, should give you enough time to trace some phone numbers. How will you do that? I'm going to pull the plug on Oink's favorite toy. It should take him a while to figure out where the problem is. Sounds like a plan. Nobody seems to be around. Yeah, it's quiet. Let's keep it that way. The computer traced it to a plum and supplies warehouse near Juno Labs. Any idea how we can get in there? Who we need to break in? Should be easy enough. I'll flash the badge around and say we're looking for contraband. Doesn't anyone ever ask for a warrant? Shh, don't jinx it. This is the place. Come on, Jimmy Olsen. Let's look around. That's it. I can't take it anymore. What's your problem? My problem, detective, is that I'm a reporter. Jimmy Olsen is a photographer. We're nothing alike. So, I guess I should just call you Lois Lane instead? You know what? Jimmy Olsen is fine.
You're detected. Here you go. Sure thing. Hey, Bennett. Detective Bennett. Right. Yeah. Here you go. Sure thing. Yeah, looks like a resonance device, all right. Get it down here. I've used this thing before. I hope they haven't canceled my password yet. It's no good. I can't trace it. Why not? The signal's too weak. Could be the location he's in or some kind of interference. What can we do? Call it. If that is Ed's phone, hopefully he'll answer. As long as he's talking, you might be able to trace the signal. Got it. I'm ready. Just keep him on the phone as long as you can, and I'll need a couple minutes to localize the signal. Who is this? Why? Ray? How did you get this number? Why do this? Ray, I'm sorry. There isn't enough time to explain. Just who are you working for? Shut up. I'm not working for anybody. I'm not working for anybody ever again. Ed, what is all this about? Forget it, Ray. You just wouldn't understand. Try me. I said forget it. You need to stop whatever you're doing, and you need to stop now. I can't do that. I... I just can't. It's too late for that.
We trusted you, you asshole. You were using us the whole time. No, wait, it wasn't entirely like that. I wanted to protect Resonance, yes, but there's so much more at stake now. Ray, please believe me. I'm not a bad guy. Then prove it to me. So why'd you do it, Ed? You think I wanted this to happen? You fired the gun. The device was in your apartment. You tell me. I, I just couldn't take the risk. Resonance is just too important. Do you understand? No, Ed. Talk to me. Make me understand. Nobody can understand. Not you. Not Dr. Morales. And especially not Amul and Reno. You mentioned Amul and Reno? We spoke to them. The Eleven Foundation? Don't listen to a word they say. Who are they? Look, whatever you may think of me, those two are far worse. I trusted them. I did these horrible things for them. You were working for them? And they betrayed me. <laughs> they aren't going to use resonance to help the world. They want to use it as a tool. A tool for their own selfish purposes. They said you're planning another attack. They want us to look for you. They're trying to use you like they used me. They make you think they want the same thing you do and nudge you in the right direction. They know I can stop them, so they convince you to get in my way. Stop them? Stop them from what? Stop them from gaining control. I can do that at the very least. No matter what happens tonight, Ray, remember this. I stopped Antivorta. Antivorta? Ed, wait, let's talk about this. I can't bring back Anna or Dr. Morales, but I can make this right. Stay out of my way. Got it. I know where he's at. So do I. He told you? No, but I know what he's planning. Antivorta. He's targeting Antivorta. Yes, I traced his phone to the hospital. He's there right now? We could already be too late. Let's go. Do you think he's here? He's here. When we find him, what do we do? He has your gun. He's armed. You really want to turn back now? No. Let's do this. Damn it! Ed's not here. He's got to be somewhere near. How do we keep running into each other? What do you want? Has anyone strange been in here looking at the mainframe today? Six foot two, blonde hair? Just that other maintenance guy, but he wasn't that strange. Other maintenance guy? Don't you all know each other? He was in here taking measurements of the room. I guess that was a little strange. Oh, and he asked me if I had a key to the basement maintenance rooms. Isn't that something he should already have? Basement. Thanks. Whatever. Never mind. Damn. No phone service. Can you function for five minutes without a phone? This place doesn't even have Wi-Fi. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Shit, yes. If the target is Antivorta on floor 7, and one residence device is here in the basement, then the other must be... Above the building.
Wait, detective, look at the TV. Huh? My God. What connection the incident in Aventine City could have had uh, to these worldwide attacks is, at this point, unknown. Uh, being told now we've established contact with our Washington Bureau, re-established contact. Video is coming in now. Uh, we have a chopper in the air. Uh, clearly smoke rising from the vicinity of the White House. Several emergency vehicles you can see there in the area. And, oh my God. The, the White House has been attacked. I repeat, the White House has been attacked. This video coming in from our Washington Bureau. Mike. Those were resonance blasts. This must be what Ed was planning. We're too late. No, this resonance device is still inactive. Whatever he's planning, he hasn't done it yet. Let's get up there. Whatever he's doing, we can stop that at least. So peaceful up here. It's hard to imagine the chaos erupting all over the world right now. Focus, Ray. Look for another resonance device. It's gotta be here somewhere. So I'm not Jimmy anymore? Eh, you earned it. I don't see it. What if we're wrong? Don't worry. We'll find them. Hi, guys. Hey, uh, stay where you are. Do you see now? Do you understand? Ed, what the hell is going on? Resonance. They never cared about resonance. They used me. And now all this? Using resonance for mass destruction. It's exactly what I promised Dr. Morales I wouldn't let happen. I couldn't see it coming. I couldn't stop it. But I can stop them, at least. Stop who? The Eleven Foundation. Antivorta. It must be destroyed. Why? Why Antivorta? What makes some computer worth all this? You really have no idea what Antivorta is, do you? 